when you ride these high speed scooters, you can't help to pick up some shit on the way. I got this fat ass nail on my uh, tire, but luckily it's a tubeless tire, meaning that it's pretty easy to fix. First thing sirs, go to your local auto parts store and pick up this tubeless tire repair kit. You can find it almost any auto shop. Next, you gotta file out the hole. They give you a little filing um, device that you gotta stick it into the hole where the puncture was and then you just kind of start working it back and forth, um, grinding it away. You gotta make sure you sand it really good, get it in there, um, push it in and out. Um, as soon as that gets nice and easy for it to move, um, it, it'll be ready. And then what you wanna do is kind of um, file it a little bit more and and again and again until it's nice and like easy for the um, filing device to move back and forth. Now with the file still in there, you want to pump it up with the air, um, kind of over inflate it past the uh, PSI. And once you got that, then you want to pre prep the rubber strip that's going to plug up the hole. And you got to thread it through the um, other tool that that's provided in the kit. It's kind of like a needle. And you just kind of thread it through the hole. And once you get it through, like pretty much you want to get it towards the middle, right there. So that's good. And then um, they're gonna usually give you, um, as part of the kit, some um, rubber cement like glue. You're going to want to spread that all over the uh, the middle. Um, you don't need to get so much of it on the sides, but just more towards the middle. And then you're just going to pull that little piece out and a little bit of air is going to shoot out and that's okay. Um, but you're going to quickly replace it with the other tool and just kind of jam it all the way through about halfway until like you got two little rubber strips sticking out. Um, of the tire that's fine but you want to make sure you get at least halfway in there and then pull it out um, making sure that you don't pull out too much of the rubber it's it's usually gonna cut itself it's okay um, but you got to get the tool out without getting the two rubber strips to come out grab some scissors and start cutting off the excess trim you want to leave just a little bit um, of it a little nub of rubber sticking a little bit from the tire because eventually you know after you start riding on it it'll kind of mash into the tire and then I, I feel like that's just good so just cut the excess leave a little bit extra and, um, and you're good to go this tire is um, patched up and ready to move 